Hello and welcome back to Removed Weapon Review. Today I will be talking about the Friendly Fire Foiler. The Friendly Fire Foiler had many stat changes over its years being in the game, but its stats and randomizer are simple. When equipped, you would take no knockback and add a plus 30% reload speed. The only downside was that you didn't have a primary weapon because this took the primary slot. Now with these underwhelming stats being its final ones, this may lead you to believe that it used to be insanely broken like some TF2 weapons such as the Darwin's Danger Shield and the Sandman, which had to be reworked due to their power. But no, really, it used to just be a decent side grade at its best. Let's talk about its stats now, and then talk about its stat changes later. Now let's begin by talking about that reload speed. This reload speed bonus was extremely useful, especially on weapons such as the Krankenstein, the Bison, and the Booney Blaster. The Booney Blaster was also an extremely fun weapon to pair with the Friendly Fire Foiler, as they both worked side to side together. The other stat that this weapon had, the knock No Knockback Taken From Damage stat, was really mediocre at best. It didn't really apply much to Trooper because it's a class that rarely takes knockback unless they're rocket jumping, which he wouldn't be because it takes up the primary slot. It countered a lot of pyros that like to air blast spam, especially pyros using the prototype SM2, because that was used back then a lot. Who would have guessed that two meme weapons countered each other? Now let's go on to those stat changes that this weapon constantly had. Now this thing couldn't get a single break when it came to its stat changes. Some of its former stats were as follows. It started with the stats of a plus 20% movement speed bonus, a plus 25% explosion damage resistance, and a plus 25 max health. Then they added an out of the left field downside of a minus 100% overheal. This weapon felt like it was supposed to function like Demo's boots, or to an extent, a shield, but that overheal downside didn't really fit with its design. Then in February 26th, 2021, a mere five days after its launch, they reworked it by removing every stat I previously mentioned, other than the explosion resistance and the movement speed bonuses, which were changed to a plus 25% movement speed bonus and a plus 20% explosion resistance respectively, for some reason. Anyway, the other stat introduced was a plus one capture rate bonus and a 100% knockback vulnerability, which actually wasn't that awful of a change, and the capture rate bonus will let you tie a flank flanker for capture speed, which is always a nice bonus. This thing also became the predecessor for the pain train. Then on March 25th, 2021, they added back the plus 25 health bonus, but removed the 20% explosion resistance and oddly banned this thing from versus bosses, likely for a similar reason with the Fist of Steel, for putting a massive handicap on you for little to no benefit. This weapon was odd, but still usable state at this point. If you go full Trooper Knight, or Trooper Rye? I don't know what the term was, or if there even was one, but it was a playstyle where you use the banners with the foiler and basically use the katana and run at people. I actually invented this cool playstyle with it where you'd use it with the boonie blaster and the tunnel rat and with the veteran hat and I'd call the set the veteran. There was not many changes after this and most changes were very not notable. There was a knockback vulnerability change which made it go down to 25% so you, when you cap things you wouldn't be sent all the way to Pluto if you get hit, which is pretty nice. So all of those nice changes that I just talked about, they're all gone now. They just got removed. Everything got reset. It's now back to what it was today with a plus 30 reload speed and no knockback taken. Then on November 1st, 2021 on the typical colors horror update, it got removed. Just like most weapons. I mean, I thought the weapon was pretty fun, but they really didn't have to overdo it with all those stat changes. Like, holy crap, there were so many. Thank you guys for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry it took so long to get out, but I hope you guys still liked this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe as it helps me out a lot and helps my channel grow. Let's hope we reach 50 subscribers, because we're actually super close. Thank you, and goodbye.